Hello guys, in this video I am going to explain the solution of question number 10 of chapter 10 from the book Engineering Circuit Analysis by Hayat Kamerli and Darwin. So the question says that for if the source Vs, this one is equals to 4.53 cos 0 0.33 into 10 power minus 3 plus 30, then obtain the expression for Is i l i r at t equals to 0 means we need to get the value of i s i l and i r at t equals to 0 assuming no transients are present right and then the second part is that we need to obtain the expression for v l means this this voltage in terms of the single sinusoidal now for, to solve this question now since we have two resistances so it is always better to convert the circuit into the standard form standard form means to convert the circuit something in this form having a single resistance series and a single voltage source something like this r and l right so how we can do this to do this we can use the thevenin theorem how Simply, as per the Thevenin theorem, like if we consider these two terminals as A and B, now we can try to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit for this, considering this as a load register, load, right? So, means if we want to draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit across this 3 milli edge, then it means that we will remove this, this means our circuit, it will be It is 1 ohm, 10 ohm, and this is Vs, this is A and B terminal, right? So, now we need to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit for this circuit, right? Now, to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit, what we need? We need, like, the Thevenin equivalent circuit, it will be like this. This will be Vth, this uh, Rth, this will be Vth, and this will be our load, means the inductor, which is already given that it is 3 so this will be 3 milli henry so we need to get the value of rth and vth to get the value of v rth we know that we simply need to remove all the independent sources deactivate all the independent sources over here we just have one independent voltage source and voltage source to deactivate the voltage source we need to short circuit it so our circuit to determine the rth our circuit it will be like this we will short short circuit this voltage source so this is 10 ohm this is 1 ohm and now from this terminal we can determine the r equivalent rth or r equivalent now since these two registers 10 ohm and 1 ohm they are in series they are in parallel to each other so simply we can determine the equivalent as this so r th will be 10 upon 11 ohms right so i will put the value over here 10 by 11 ohm now for the vth what we need to do for the vth we need to determine this open circuit voltage voc so this will be our vth okay so vth will be equals to voc now since AB terminal like this one ohm it is uh, in parallel parallel to this AB terminal so it means the VTH it will be equals to the voltage across one ohm register so first of all we can determine we can determine the current so this current I S this will be V S I S will be Vs upon total resistance which is 10 plus 1. So, Vs upon 11. Right? And now, once we get a current, then the voltage, this voltage, V1, this will be, V1 will be equals to Is into resistance, which is Is into 1. 
right so over here is is vs upon 11 into resistance is 1 so our v1 is vs upon 11 volt so substituting this value now what is vs vs is it is given over here so vs is 4.53 divided by 11 right so because our v1 it is vs upon 11 and v1 vth it is equals to v1 right so our vth is equals to vs upon 11 so 4.53 into upon 11 cos 0 0.333 into 10 power minus 3 t plus 30 degree so this is our thevenin equivalent circuit now once we get a thevenin equivalent circuit now from this let me remove this erase this so now from this circuit now we can determine the current flowing through the inductor right so for that already like from the concept that we learned so from that concept we know that if if we have a voltage source then the current in the circuit this current i l t okay so this i l t we know from the basic concept that if v s t if it is v m cos omega t plus theta then our i s t or i l t means the current flowing through this series circuit so the this current will be given as vm upon r square plus omega square l square cos omega t plus theta plus phi and this phi this phi it is obtained using this formula 10 inverse omega l by r right so we have already like uh, in the book already the complete derivation is given so uh, if you have any confusion with respect to this with respect to this then you can go through the book so now substituting the values we know i l now i l t it will be v m v m is our this v m is our this right so it is 4.53 upon 11 right divided by this so i will put this so r r is our 10 by 11 so it is 10 by 11 whole square plus now omega square l square now what is omega omega is this right because we know that our standard equation is this so omega is 0 0.333 into 10 power minus 3 what is our l l is this right so it is 3 into 10 power minus 3 henry it is radian per second so omega l it will be 0 0.333 into 10 power minus 3 then 3 into 10 power minus 3 so it is 10 power minus 6 right so omega l it is 10 power minus 6 so i can substitute this value over here over here so it is 10 power minus 6 square right then cos omega t what is our theta over theta it is 30 degree right so plus 30 plus 5 what is our 5 5 will be 10 inverse omega l omega l already we got 10 power minus 6 upon r r is our r r is this right 10 by 11 so 10 by 11 right so this will be approximately 0 degree right because it is 10 power minus 6 at the top so it will be approximately 0 degree so we will put like over here this phi we will put 0 degree now solving this again 
over here this 10 power minus 6 square it is too small in comparison to this term so simply simply we can ignore this term right so this term can be ignored and simply we will have this and since this is a square this is square and it is under root so this square in an under root will cancel out so we will get 4.53 upon 11 into 10 by 11 so this 11 11 cancel out so cos omega t plus 30 degree ampere and solving this we will get ilt it will be 0 0.453 cos omega t plus 30 amperes so this is our ilt now once we get ilt once we get ilt now from this we can get the voltage drop across the inductor so because we know that vl it is given as expressed as l di by dt already we know il so already we know this il so we can simply differentiate it differentiating this we will get l and then differentiating 0 0.453 cos sorry sine it is we know that the differentiation of cosine it is minus sign so we put minus sign over here omega t plus 30 and then we need to differentiate this so into omega right and now substituting the value l is our 3 into 10 power minus 3 right then or we can simply write this as omega l into 0 0.453 sine omega t plus 30 right omega l we already determined at the top it is this 10 power minus 6 so straight away we will write minus 0 0.453 sine omega t plus 30 into 10 power minus 6 volt so this is our voltage across the inductor now the second now this coming back to the question now the question is that let me use this question is that we need to determine is means this current we need to determine this il which we already which we have already determined because we have determined the current to the inductor and we also have to find ir right now to determine uh, remember to determine this ir we cannot determine the, uh, this ir is not this current the current passing through rth right because ir is the current passing through only this particular register so we need to determine ir using this circuit now once we get the once we get the current passing through inductor now remember we can use the current passing the current flowing through this inductor in this uh, r in this thevenin equivalent circuit the current passing through the inductor it is same as this why because we just have single inductor right and this is like we have drawn the thevenin equivalent circuit corresponding to this inductor means we have not changed anything to this inductor so this is the same current so we have already got il we already got this vl right so now since this one ohm it is in parallel to this v to this 3 uh, milli henry inductor so it means that our vr if this is our vr then our vr will be equals to vl right and since the resistance value is 1 so our ir it will be vr upon 1 which is equals to vr so our current will be equals to vl right our current ir it will be equals to vl so let me put it over here itself so our ir t it will also be same minus 0 0.453 sine 
ओमेगा टी प्लस थर्टी इंटू टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स एंड दिस इज एम्पियर्स राइट एंड नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू डेटर माइंड इट इज दिस करंट नाउ दिस आई एस अप्लाइंग द के सी एल ओवर हियर दिस आई एस इट इज इक्वल टू आई एल प्लस आई आर राइट बिकॉज देर आर ओनली दिस टू करंट वन इज फ्लोइंग ओवर हियर एंड अनदर ओवर हेयर राइट सो सिंस वी ऑलरेडी नो आई एस एंड आई एल सो वी कैन आई एल एंड आई आर सो वी कैन डेटर माइंड आई एस आई आर आई एल टी प्लस आई आर टी राइट so i l t is this so i will put this over here so it is 0.453 cos omega t plus 30 and i r is this so it is minus 0.453 sin omega t plus 30 into 10 power minus 6 amperes right now since this second part this second part it is quite less 10 power minus 6 is there so simply we can write that our i s t it is equal to our inductor current which is this i s t right m plus so now we got i l t now we got i l t we have no vlt we know ir we know is so now coming back again to the question the question is we need to determine is il ir at t equals to 0 means we need to substitute t equals to 0 in this expressions so il 0 it will be we need to substitute 0 over here so we will get 0.453 cos Thirty, right? So substituting the values, so cos thirty is root three by two, right? So solving this, you will get a value. Now coming to our I R, I R. So our I R zero, it is minus zero point four five three sine. Okay, okay. Yes. So sine. Since we need to determine at t equals to zero, so we get sine thirty into ten power minus six. Right now, sine thirty it is one by two. So it will be the minus zero point two. Two six five, and we this we can write it as micro ampere. So this is our I R at zero. And similarly, now we got I L as this, which is in amperes. We got I R in this. So our I S, our I S, it is. Zero point four five three cos thirty, so it is zero point four five three root three by two amperes. So same as the inductor current. And now, thus coming to the second part, second part says that we need to obtain the expression for the voltage across the inductor VLT in terms of single sinusoid. Valid for t greater than zero, assuming no transient. So this we have already determined over over here, right? So this we have already determined. So if you have any doubt, you can put it in a comment box. Do subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.